Hello everyone and welcome back. We're back with another episode of my Let's Play series of Factorio. Space exploration. First time through. And we have kind of like sped up some time here um, to get ourselves to the stage of some new science levels. And we have successfully done quite a bit of research. Um, we are now at the point where we're making blue science or can make blue science. We've upgraded some of our skills and some of the things we could build we're going to work on doing solar panels next and you know pretty much just getting to that stage really moving things forward um and so we are now at that stage where we can start focusing on what it's going to take to start doing blue science um that would be my main goal here um is to start doing that we don't really have um, this is doing like science like we said before and this is doing another set of science over here um, I'd like to get a couple of blue science um, things done the green science too is also a little slow on the flow but it is not um, over you know and we definitely can uh, start speeding it up a little bit more um, going forward uh, we could build up this way and, and we'll build around this one of the things we're working on right now is logistics too so we can build faster transport belts and I believe faster transport belts have longer um, underground belts so that way we can skip over more um, and then we can build upwards here even further which I think is a great idea um, so that we can expand the uh, green science and then over here will be our blue science expansion so we have done a balance here we also now have a copper line here that is pretty much handling everything we needed to right now it'll probably get a little slow at some point and we'll have to add another smelter setup here um, uh, and yeah so I think we're definitely along the lines of uh, we're definitely along the lines of being able to expand this now and we're gonna be working on this at some point too as soon as we decide that we need more copper belts then we absolutely will do that I'll just drop these inside of one of these I don't really need them in me so so yeah there we go uh, let's let's go ahead and start looking at what it takes to make blue science um, yeah that was it there recently we got cliff grenades cliff explosives which we're gonna want to make explosives to get rid of cliffs at some point and we're gonna need to build explosives can we even do explosives yet yeah here's explosives coal sulfur and water so we have to do oil refineries and all that stuff we, we're not ready for that yet so we need some time before we're ready for um, doing cliff explosives but we're going to need to do that at some point so let me look into the blue science situation educate myself on it and we'll check back with you in a second and see what we can do uh, building forward so I did some research and it didn't take me very long to realize that we can't even begin doing blue science yet because we need to make sulfur and sulfur can only be gotten from doing oil processing and not only that we need to do red science uh, red chips and red chips require plastics and plastics also come from oil uh, separation um, so that's a whole new exploration we need to get ourselves involved into here and we need to make green chips and green chips require stone tablets um, so yeah we we are definitely well behind getting blue science so maybe today we will focus on doing the early stage stuff in order to make this we could even start with a multi-cylinder engine section which I think would be the first thing we could start doing because we already have the setups here to begin that minus the steel plates so what we need to be able to do now is begin a steel plate um, line of uh, you know smelting so we need to get steel plates started so in order to get them started I'm thinking we've already rebalanced this we could start stealing from this again um, in whatever order we want so we do need to do some steel smelting um, and it takes a long time to do it so ideally I would just have my own dedicated iron line for it um, but I just don't think we have the the space for it I mean I guess I could do it from over here and translate all that over to here but I don't really want to I think we're going to um, I think we, we're just gonna stick with what we have here we have enough iron coming from these right here we have four of them which is quite a bit um, that I think we can do that so I don't I really don't think we need to um, okay good no you're near here um, we definitely don't need to uh, I think do anything crazy we need to do start doing some small thing let's work on is this train is railways 
we might need that at some point so let's go ahead and get started on that too um, all right so let's let's go ahead and start doing um, some smelting of all right get smelting done of our steel so we'll need to build a pretty robust steel network here um, steel we can use regular stone furnaces if we wanted to I'd like to do electric furnaces so I don't have to fill it with stuff we're not near electric furnaces though are we batteries are not needed for electric furnaces are they no how do we get to electric furnaces I don't know how we do that I, I again this is all changing so much of these processes I mean if it's not within the near future we just won't do it um, advanced materials processing faster more flexible furnaces there we go yeah we need heat shielding which we need blue science for you yeah, we're just not going to be at that stage okay so we have to do um, a whole different uh, exploration process here we're, we're gonna need some uh, some other way to do this we're gonna have to steal from the the line of the uh, fuel sorry I can't think of the right words today I'm just totally distracted um we're gonna need to steal lines of fuel and we're gonna need to do uh, um, the regular smelting so that means we're gonna need some stone to make we'll make stone we'll make steel furnaces just because we have some steel on us we're already making steel here too so we can um, probably just move these out of here now I think we're at that stage where this whole process of steel can just come with me um, and we'll just begin that ourselves uh, and we'll have a decent I think steel system started here if it becomes too much to do steel off of the iron line because we need quite a bit of it which I don't get I don't know how the long end game works then we will make a new dedicated line from it and we'll probably steal from either this iron patch or we'll grab another one from further away and uh, yeah there isn't anyone nearby so might have to train it over if not we'll do it the way that we have it over there set up so all right so let's continue with another science here Let's go ahead and do the black science now. Yeah, it's gonna level up real fast. Military science facts, packs are fast. All right, so let's go ahead and do these. We don't need 12 of these, but um, let's just move them up like that. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, I think it's enough for now. It's probably more than enough, but I don't wanna be... There we go, we'll do these red ones. So now we can do trains. All right, just like that, and then we can steal from here. Just like that, and these just need some power. Just like that. Go ahead and start up the next one here. Let's start the speed modules just in case we need to keep. Actually, let's do a f productivity modules in case we need more of something. I don't care if it takes more power to do it and takes longer. We can always speed up time. All right, let's begin this process of moving steel off the line onto our own steel line, which we'll do it like this. That way it evens out on its own like that just like that all right so now we're putting steel on its own line we'll put a buffer box never know if we're gonna need steel in our own inventory not likely but let's put two stacks in there and a power line and then we'll put uh, 
Yeah, here we go again with this crap. I wish it would evenly distribute, but it doesn't do that. Okay, hold on a second. We're gonna back up. Back it up. This is working out. Maybe we don't need a buffer. If we need a buffer, we'll steal off the line from one of the two sides. We'll see if we need a buffer. All right, you're done. Let's start the next one. Start research. All right, so now that we have a steel line, now we can do these that take grenades and stonewalls. Interesting. And they have a steel line. We can um, start making our cylinder engines here. Um, now, these are making iron gears, but they're not using them as fast as they need to be. We could be pulling from this onto another line and, and borrow from that temporarily, or we could continue to steal from iron. But let, let's go ahead and let's do our own thing. Let's do our own line. Just like this. Oh, we are out of the underground belts. Let's grab a stack of those. Because then we'll have I see there's a, a bottleneck here on putting iron in there or sorry iron copper cables so this will at least speed that up a little bit not a big deal alright I am getting distracted I'm trying to slow down my bottlenecks here alright so now that we have the iron gears going uh, we can then bring over our two cylinder engines, which do we have a backlog of them? No, we don't um, We're making them. Here's a bit of a backlog here Because um, we are backlog there, so we could do something with that, but maybe maybe we won't It needs iron gears and Man, this is tough. I've done all of this work to try to isolate these and now here I am stealing from this. I'm thinking maybe I just continue to do what I've been doing, where that they are, in their own right, completely able to function on their own should something go wrong. So we are going to continue to do that. Um, which means this half of a ha this half here that we still here, we could probably steal another half and just do our own um, iron gear making again. Because um, I, I really don't think we're going to need to do steal you um oh wait what can i do with electrical units i need copper yeah i'm just trying to get to the fast ones here we go let's build a bunch of those um all right so now we can do these to make iron gears and make um our engines because we'll make our own engines to require iron gears and such too so let's go ahead and steal you to do exactly that but something tells me we need the blue one to be faster all right finish to do what you're doing come on come on come on come on come on come on be done all right I want you to be fast at inserting uh, to make our gears and then from the gears we're also going to make we'll make it from the same iron setup here we can use that to make um, oops just like that I need the fast one again What is the issue here? Well, I don't have enough of, I guess, is copper. All right. And then you're going to be used to make the engines. I don't have the steel iron. Just like that to do it. All right. So now we're at least able to do what we need to do here. To make our engines that we're going to then need to use in our steel section with some more iron gears which we will pull off of like this into a line that goes over to here 
because now this requires three items. It requires iron gears, engines. Come on, give me one more. All right. And I think we're good now. Perfect. Now you should be able to make, yep, multi-cylinder engines, which I don't know that we need a buffer, but we'll go ahead and make a buffer. Actually, let's build the buffer the other direction. Multi-cylinder engines, got a buffer. All right, let's go ahead and just start the next science here. Let's get cars going, get us around faster. Um, all right, so now we've got multi-cylinder engines going. All this to get some blue science, man. Blue science requires engines. I, I just don't understand that. All right, and then to make these, we need all the other stuff that requires this stuff, which is stone tables. Okay, so I think we're making our multi-cylinder engines for this part. So that is done. We actually have our... We'll just let that end and then we'll figure out where we want to go with that and we'll put a stack of two in there for now as our buffer and let's let that do its thing it's going to be more than enough steel to do this we could possibly take the steel off of this line and, and do other things with it but right now that's the only thing i could see using steel for right now and now let's work on getting our green stuff done green stuff requires stone tablets and stone tablets are made from where do we do stone tablets how do I do stone tablets? There we are. Make, taking stone bricks and just turning them into stone tablets. Okay. So that means we need to have our stone section somewhere. Here's a stone section over here. We could start mining some of that. We have a stone section here, but that's kind of doing our own. There's a large stone section there. I think 1.3 million. It's actually more than this one. It's a very strong one over there. So let's go ahead and tap into that with our normal do we have enough miners no we don't well, well two miners might be more than enough to do what we need to do for this two miners we got smelters do we have a few yeah we do um, we got belts we got inserters we can start the processing of fuel which we'll have to borrow from I think we'll be okay yeah yeah we'll be fine all right, so we got two miners here. Let's get two miners going. I don't think we need to make any more miners. I think we'll be okay for right now. Oh, and I am out. Okay, well, maybe we do need to do some preparation. Look at all this stone here. I got to clear. I'm going to use that stone almost immediately because that's what it's going to turn into our stone bricks. I'm getting some coal out of this too. It's crazy. All right, let's finish this up. Get this cleared out. I should be clear enough. All right, clear. All right, so let's... I don't need to build this size of a smelting array, so we could be manual with this ordeal. Let's get some copper and some iron so that we can build more of these. Let's build two more. Oh, and I said I also needed belts. Because I need quite a few belts to get this brought up to over there. And I guess we'll do these with electric, uh, sorry, um, steel furnaces. It's about to finish the last one. Okay, good. So that should be more than enough to do that process for us. And then we can bring this up. Bring it over. Actually, we don't even need it to be that much. We're going to go ahead and copy down our smelting array. We don't need it to be this extensive, but we will. like that 
and we will switch over to our, do we have the other ones on us? We do. And let you build as we see here. In a moment, I need to go get the rest what I need here, which is more my mall. So my mall, I need to get more of the inserters. I should have enough of these. Yeah. We could steal from here again. over and start assembling we need more how do we build more there we go all right so you're gonna do all of the smelting we need here. We need more power bars. Where are they? I need more copper. fast you should be done and then we should be able to tie in the remainder of our power lines up and then we just need to hook you up all right so power is now active we are now smelting we are now making more than enough stone. Are we working slow because we are overproducing? Yeah, we can make plenty. All right, so we're fine. Let's go start another science situation going on here. Let's do. I don't need stronger explosives. I just need. Let's do the solar. All right, so now you should be capable and able to make plenty of stone bricks for us. Um, I already have this stone um, stuff being done elsewhere too, but oh, you don't have any power because I, my blueprint is short on that. All right, so now we're making stone bricks. And then we said from stone bricks, we need to make stone tablets. Now, I don't want to do that with all of them, but we can um, at the very least turn this into another four lane array as well even though we won't need this to be a four lane array we will do so so we'll start steal our block here we'll do a balancer uh, let's move it vertically this way because then we'll bring it in uh, up that way just like that you'll build it for me and you'll balance Balance completely out. Yep. So no matter what, you're always balancing out your production. And you're only making as much as we can fit here. So let's let's maximize you out a little bit more with a couple more stone. Just a couple more drills pulling up some stone. I just want to be efficient, but I don't want to be over indulgent, but as you see here, it's producing fast enough that we don't even touch these other ones. And I think we want a few more smelters worth of stone being done. Alright, 
we'll do one more on top. And then I think this will be enough for our use. Okay. So now we have plenty of stone here being done. And then we can bring this stone line up all the way. I don't even think we're going to need this much stone, but I'd rather have plenty than not enough. We are out of belts. We need to get more belts. We'll start with just one lane for now. I think we did it wrong. I want that to be the outermost lane. So we'll do it this way. Just like that. That way there's no issue with how that goes forward. And then we'll just do that for now. And we will bring it all the way down. We really need two spaces between. Stop it. Stop it right now. I didn't do. Again, my due diligence here, this needs to be two over. Because we need to be able to do a enough space to put a underground belt in. I'm just kind of future proofing the base a little bit here with our main bus lines. So don't wanna do it wrong. Alright, so we have done what we needed to do here. We can go ahead and bring this up with a splitter for now. Even though a splitter is probably more than... No, I mean, we might need to do more, but we'll just do it like this. Oops. And that's exactly why we future-proof. Just like that. Now the lines can pass through. And then for the green, we need the stone tablets. So we are gonna turn these into stone tablets. I don't know how fast this process works. So we'll start with a regular amount of those and then we'll start turning them into stone tablets. Yeah, they can do it, no problem. Cool, so now you're making stuff. Oh yeah, you're fast, so that's fine. If anything, we need to put a faster inserter in on that. To keep up. Alright, and then from those stone tablets, we can make a line of stone tablets. We'll make a line of two tablets. Just like this. Right, and now we have a line of tablets that can be done and those tablets can be put with some copper cable which we can do what we've been doing which is we got to bring the line up and we could do that like right here maybe steal from you now that we've balanced again turn you around steel uh, no we can't do it here because we're gonna run into that we built it a little too close no problem this is what this is for just like that take the copper lines from here we can move them over as well we can build another one of these solar panels already uh, let's start the circuit network just 
case we want to start doing some of that. All right, and then we'll turn you into copper uh, cables. We'll make a copper cable line, similar like how we did here, and we'll join them all up. Just the same. Again, I, I don't know if I'm being efficient, but I'm just gonna get myself ready to make green, green uh, circuits here. Um, green circuits, no, we are making copper right now. And then from there, we are gonna unload you with another one of these. Um, just like this. The same exact way that we did the other one. So we have a full line. And then these can be combined to make green circuits. Now, I have no idea how dependent green circuits are, but we have these two lines here. So we can, for all intents and purposes, build this vertically and do our green, sign, our green circuits from here building upwards just like this so this is exactly what we'll do we'll build up a couple of these just trying to do, keep up with some research as we go uh, right All right and then you do that and we gotta give it some power and we're good and we have made our first set of green circuits which are then going to be used into making uh, blue, <laughs> blue circuits. But uh, sorry, yeah, and then those green circuits are then going to be turned into red circuits um, with more copper cables So and some plastic bars. So we have just done the basics. As you can see here, this is just going to get out of control at some point because um, we, we have to do a lot of other building here. So once the green circuits are done, we're going to start making a belt full of them. And we'll put them over here on this side. Yeah, I think it's fair. A belt full of these guys. And so now we have green science, uh, green science, I keep on the green science, green circuits being made at a relatively fast rate that we can expand on as we go and then we can build up vertically here going forward. And yeah, now that's green circuits, which then can be turned into red circuits once we do plastic. So on the next episode, we are gonna get into uh, doing our oil because our oil is gonna be needed to do um, uh, quite a bit of, uh, of the plastic work, sulfur work, you name it. it there's something gonna be involved with everything here. <laughs> we are going to be in depth in, into expanding into this and it is going to be a long time before we're quite ready to return to blue signs. So next episode we are going to focus on doing our oil which unfortunately is nowhere even close. It's all the way over here and over here and over here. So there is nowhere close that I've been able to see. Um, so just to explore a bit more, what we're going to do going forward in the next episode is we are going to make sure that we have exhausted all of our options closer to us um, with that. And I'm going to put my radar in over here so as to keep my chunks loaded here so that I can have um, an idea of what's in this direction, if there's anything that is good for our future use. Uh, so yeah, let's get that placed down, Mr. Radar. Where are you? Right there. And that way you can keep an eye on this area and let me know if we find something closer because otherwise we have to tap into this oil patch all the way over here, which I think will be the easiest because this one's the farthest away. This one's actually farther away, but this one's close to a wider base. And this one I might be able to get, but it's not going to be easy to get to crossing water. Uh, so, you know, we're kind of stuck having to go get oil. Maybe we'll have to do train transports or piping it. I'm not sure, but that is going to be the next episode because that is a huge undertaking. And in the meantime, we're just going to continue to level up all of our sciences that are um, green and red based, and we're going to continue to level those up. And 
we probably will expand this up further so that this is plenty large enough to do even further science uh, research because we have um you know, these all require green sciences so i'm um, a green circuit so it's probably wise to again future proof as much as possible um these items because we're gonna need uh, all of it we're gonna need to do it in a significant manner um yeah we're gonna be busy that is for sure busy for sure trying to upgrade this stuff so next episode you guys know what i'm doing thanks again for watching us chuck thunder sending out take care <laughs>